We use the Manfrotto MH055M8Q5 video head for over 10 years. We were very satisfied with it. The large locking knob was very good. What we always missed, however, was a fine adjustment. Just a little upwards or a little to the side would be great. To solve this problem, we bought a geared video head. We have been using the 405 aluminum gear head from Manfrotto for about two months now. The handles came loose after just a few uses. This at a proud price of more than 800 francs. The foam comes loose and the screw no longer turns. The video head only moves when you press them together very hard. We tried to solve the problem with a cable tie. It did not help. Manfrotto's support replied to us within a day. Their recommendation was to use superglue. It takes a lot of force to move the turning handles. There is no adjustment option to make them smoother. We remember that the NovoFlex macro cross slide has a locking screw to prevent the camera from slipping down. We would like to see something similar for this geared video head. The video head has some really strong advantages that other gear heads lack. Advantages that are very valuable in our setup. Our setup with the macro rails is quite heavy and the 35 cm long extension provides a strong leverage effect. The video head holds this weight without any problems and very reliably. The tripod head can be moved quickly in all directions using the front rotary knob. The video head engages at certain intervals during rough adjustment with the front rotary knob. It remains in the locked position without giving way. Important for us, it can also be swiveled straight down, so we can film insects on the ground. The large rotary knobs are also a big plus. When filming, they can be gripped without looking. The two important rotary knobs, horizontal and vertical panning, are both directed to the rear. This is very convenient for the camera operator. The smaller knobs at the back can be used for fine adjustment. You have to grip them relatively firmly and it takes force to turn them. However, and this is also important, the video head can be moved very finely and smoothly. This is a big plus, especially in macro photography. The video head can also be tilted to the side. This is less interesting for us, but if someone likes to film in portrait format, it is adjustable. We will test and use this video head extensively. We tried out various cameras and video cameras. We have experimented with macro lenses and close-up lenses. Over the past 20 years, we have always searched for the optimum. What you see here is a small selection of them. The Panasonic FZ2000 with a close-up lens is the only one left from the entire selection. Close-up lenses do not absorb light themselves, and so we can even screw several of them on top of each other. We have been using the FZ2000 for around five years. A camera must have a monitor that is freely adjustable on all sides. When filming, the sun is at our back or to the side. So that we can see something on the monitor, it must be able to swivel. The length of the lens must not change when zooming in and out. On the one hand, changing the distance also changes the focus setting. And, on the other hand, extending or retracting the lens can cause the insect to make a reflex movement. When the FZ2000 is switched on, the lens is extended and then remains constant in its overall length even when zoomed in. With the FZ2000, manual zooming is possible using the zoom lever on the front of the shutter release or on the lens itself.
However, three different automatic zoom speeds can also be selected in the menu and assigned to the function buttons. We like to use this and show it in our videos, for example, to start or end a film sequence. The good thing is that the sharpness of the insect is maintained over the entire zoom distance. Very good automatic aperture, white balance, and ISO settings are important to us. These are values that we do not want to select and set ourselves. The camera has to do this precisely and reliably for us. We are busy looking for the insect in the grass, then adjusting the height of the camera, the lateral alignment, and the correct distance and focus. There is usually no time to make any more adjustments to the camera. The FZIS 2000 offers red or blue focus peaking. With a blue beetle, Red focus peaking is sometimes easier to recognize. Focus peaking means that when the focus is set manually, all sharp points in the image are displayed in color, in this case, blue. This allows you to quickly recognize the correct distance to the insect. The manual or automatic focus is easily accessible and can be selected quickly. The FC2000 has excellent object tracking. You simply tap on the insect on the touchscreen and the focus is tracked quite reliably and without pumping. If an insect is moving slightly, this is a very good method for automatically tracking the focus. Sometimes we also use the FZZ2000 without a close-up lens. For example, we have a gray hair in here. Of course, we can also take excellent photos with the FZ2000. It can do photo stacking, continuous shooting, and much more. All functions can also be set manually. You notice that we are enthusiastic about the FZ2000. So that's it. Until later. Until then.